That's why we're so popular in the world, ladies and gentlemen. We just murdered a million people in the country next to Iran. We murdered another million people in the other country on the other side, in Libya. We just dropped 27,000 bombs in Syria to the country just to the north. We're still occupying Afghanistan. And someone else is a bad actor. We are the terrorists. The United States is the terrorists. And you want to know how I know? Here's Wesley Clark. Here's a ge general to tell you what the real agenda is. About 10 days after 9-11, I went through the Pentagon and I saw Secretary Rumsfeld and, and Deputy Secretary Wolfowitz. I went downstairs just to say hello to some of the people on the Joint Staff who had used, used to work for me. And one of the generals called me and he said, sir, you got to come in. You got to come in and talk to me a second. I said, well, you're too busy. He said, no, no. He says, you, we've made the decision we're going to war with Iraq. This was on or about the 20th of September. I said, we're going to war with Iraq. Why? He said, I don't know. <laughs> he said, I guess they don't know what else to do. So uh, I said, well, did they find some information collect connecting Saddam to al-Qaeda? He said, no, no. He says, there's nothing new that way. They just made the decision to go to war with Iraq. He said, I guess it's like we don't know what to do about terrorists, but we've got a good military and we can take down governments. And um, he said, I guess if... If the only tool you have is a hammer, every problem has to look like a nail. So I came back to see him a few weeks later, and by that time we were bombing in Afghanistan. I said, are we still going to war with Iraq? And he said, oh, it's worse than that. He said, he reached over on his desk, he picked up a piece of paper, he said, I just, he said, I just got this down from upstairs, meaning the Secretary of Defense office today, and he said, this is a memo that describes how we're going to take out seven countries in five years starting with Iraq and then Syria, Lebanon, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, and finishing off Iran. And now you know the rest of the story. Why did we invade Iraq? That's why. Why did we invade Libya? That's why. Why did we invade Syria? That's why. Why are we... Uh, why is our military in the Sudan, in Somalia? That's why. This is all about imperialism. That's why. It's all about oil, natural resources, and corporate profits. That's what this is all about. Murdering people. <laughs> Murdering people. That's what this is all about. Because we can. United States is the biggest murdering terrorist country in the world. Organization. We're much, much bigger terrorists than Al-Qaeda and ISIS ever could hope to be. That's our country. Now, people like Sam Harris will tell you that we're the, <laughs> we're the good guys and we should be doing this because they have, they, they have an old-timey religion that's barbaric. <clears throat> uh, unlike, uh, unlike Sam Harris's religion, and unlike uh, the Christianity I was brought up with, which massacred the Indians, the Native Americans in the United States, <laughs> did the Crusades. Um, yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, anyway, Ron, anything you want to add to this? Because this is... Yeah, I mean, it's amazing that we're just doing that to their media. And, you know, I'll give a shout out to Medea Benjamin because she wrote the book Inside Iran that really breaks down from 1953 to present what we have done to Iran, what the United States has done to Iran over the decades. And you read that book and, and there's, you know, a lot of the stuff is just, you know, pretty stuff that most people are aware of, but a lot of the stuff, I mean, I personally wasn't even aware of, and you just read that book at every three sentences, you're just yelling, why are we so terrible? <laughs> why are we doing this? Yeah, well, people don't know that they had a democratically elected president in Iran, in Iran uh, and in 1953, our, the United States overthrew that president. His name was Mossadegh, and why did we do that? We did that because he was going to keep his natural resources, the oil, and he was going to distribute the profits to his people. And the United States said, no way. You don't get to keep your oil. So they kicked him out. They instituted the Shah of Iran. They put the Shah of Iran in. And then in 20 years, they, uh, they had a right-wing, fundamental, uh, religious extremist overthrow them. That's what breeds fascism. 
So when you get rid of democracy, that brings fascism. And that's exactly what we brought to the Middle East was fascism. And now we're bringing murder, hellfire, uh, displacement, and misery. And why? So Raytheon can make more money. Well, and censorship is, is part of this conversation, too, because the other thing we did simultaneously throughout this is we really decimated all the culture that they had. They, they, they had uh, music industry, movies, and stuff like that. And, well, we didn't want people getting the wrong idea, so we, we decimated that, too, over the years. Uh, United States, America, fuck yeah.